what's up everybody it is day 50 of being homeless and I'm still kind of reeling from yesterday the fact that someone gave me $200 I'm still so appreciative of that you know that that helped us basically stay off the street for a couple more nights which I really appreciate you know so yeah I just I'm still reeling on that that the fact that that actually happened and then of course um, like I said yesterday I I did get hired for the job too which is also good news the bad news of course is just like it's just like in the meantime it's just like I got this in between time before I even start work let alone before I get paid still like this like like three weeks three weeks time between you know because I just got the job and like I said between now and then when I get paid and even my first paycheck's not probably be less than 100 bucks so that's not even be that great but at least it's something you know but yeah there's still a few weeks in the future it's like what to do for a few weeks until then you know So that's what we're still trying to figure out, you know. So we have the hotel for one more night for tonight. And then tomorrow we're out again. This time, you know, no hotel. Uh, just nothing. We don't know whether to do the sleeping bag things, like in the desert or whatever. And it's like, where to go? You know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we looked at sleeping bags. They're like... $40 for like a three person one plus, plus we have the dog so it's like well do we need a three person sleeping tent or a four person sleeping tent and then not just that you gotta have some kind of sleeping bag and stuff like that it's more money <laughs> everything's money <laughs> even sleeping in the desert costs money cause it's not like you could just you know curl up on the ground like a wolf or something it's like you know human body's not made for that I'm gonna freeze it death. it gets down to like I don't know 30 degrees Fahrenheit in the uh, in the nighttime, so it's freezing cold, even in a tent. I don't know how much warmer it would be in a tent, but yeah, you can't just be laying out and sleeping in the car. There's no room. We have all of our stuff in the car, and it's not like we could lay down. And, and then the bathroom situation and all that. So, yep, day 50, day 50, 50 days of being homeless, you know? Just just sucks i'm like so ready for to have a house you know we applied for that housing thing they approved us but they're like okay we'll call you back they got to do other stuff and they'll call us back with like the specifics of like okay how much and will they pay in housing and where you can go and all this kind of stuff and we called them they're like, oh no it's not ready we'll contact you don't call us basically so we try to bug them and they don't like that <laughs> but yeah if we could get the housing anything because this job, it's like, it's nice, but it's just not going to be fast enough. And it's not even, like, my first week, they've only scheduled me for nine hours, I think. And uh, the place, it doesn't look, it's a, it's a Dickie's Barbecue, and it doesn't even look like it gets that busy. I've been there, what, two, two or three times now to, you know, do interview and paperwork and stuff. And I think the max I've seen was one person in there. So that means if there's not a lot of business, they're not doling out a lot of hours, which is not good. I can't survive on, say, 10 hours a week or even 20 hours a week. That's not going to do good. Okay, be money for some food and maybe some more hotels, but it's not enough to save money or anything. And so it's like, it's good news to have a job, but it's like, it ain't enough. And then we're even trying to figure out, like, say we are, it's like, say we're sleeping in the desert or whatever. Well, I can't just leave them in a tent in the middle of the desert while I go to work for a few hours. So they got to... I gotta like load up the dog in the car. The dog has to sit in the car and they go shopping for a few hours. What if, but what about when I work four, five, six, eight hours? Where are they gonna go for it? Where's my girlfriend and my son gonna go for eight hours? And my dog, where's my dog gonna go for eight hours? She can't sit in the car for eight hours. So these are all just like logistical problems. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying these are like real things that we gotta figure out. It's like, okay, I gotta say I gotta go to work for five hours. Where's my girlfriend and my son going to go for five hours? You know, uh, saying we don't have a hotel, we don't have a house or nothing like that. Where, where are they going to go? So, these are the problems. Anyhow, day 50. See you guys tomorrow.